Welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa Caprio. Do you believe in magic? What if you were told that all you had to do was get a little creative and work a magic spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Here on Postcards to the Universe, we will share manifesting, tips, postcards, creativity, abundance, and prosperity. Here is your host, Melissa Caprio. Hello, and welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. I hope you guys are doing well. How is everybody doing today? I have a really cool guest today. I have energy healer, Dr. T. He's the creator of a, creator of a human engineer, and you're going to find out what that is in a little bit. And I'm super excited to speak with him. So stay tuned. Um, and he, Dr. T is going to do a healing blast for everyone who is here right now. So if you are having any kind of health issues, you're going to want to stay tuned for the show because you're going to want this healing. Trust me, I've worked with him already and I know it and you can feel it. So stay and stay tuned and I'm going to bring him out in just a couple minutes. For those who are new to my show, welcome. Thank you for being here. I am also an author and a photographer and my book is titled Postcards to the Universe, Harness the Universe's Power and Manifest Your Dreams. And in my book, there are 30 manifesting stories along with photographs that I took of the contributors manifesting postcards. And I share their stories and writing exercises that helps us get clear on what we want to manifest. And there's a toolbox full of exercises on how to manifest money, health, career, love, and so much more. So if you're interested in doing some inner work exercises and getting clear and reading people's incredible journeys of transformation, inspiration, and manifesting, please go to your favorite bookstore and purchase a copy. I would love that. Thank you. Now, each week I share a magical message that I post on Mondays, and it's an image of a manifesting postcard that I photograph with an affirmation. And I like to focus on affirmations uh, daily, and I find that they're very powerful for it to become a new belief in our lives. So each week I change it out. And this week's magical message is I take care of myself. And this is what a lot of today's show is going to be about, taking care of ourselves. How do you take care of yourself? Are you kind to yourself when you speak to yourself? Or are you cruel? Do you keep eating things that you know aren't good for you? Are you staying in toxic relationships? All these things that we allow into our lives that aren't good for us stick and they create dis-ease or illness if we don't process our emotions around it. That is part of taking care of ourselves. You must process old stuck emotions that may now be manifesting as pain, discomfort, illness, and dis-ease. And that's why today's guest, Dr. T is so perfect for this affirmation, I take care of myself, because having healing work done is very powerful in taking care of ourselves. And he's also going to share how he teaches us to do what he does, which is really cool. So we're always healing ourselves and others. Make taking care of yourself a priority. It should be number one on your list. People who take care of themselves are also master manifestors, and they might not even realize that they are doing it. But when our energy is high and positive, more of what we want comes into our lives. So it's important to clear away anything thing that is holding us back. To see these magical messages that I post each week, you can find them across any of my social media platforms. Uh, if you happen to be on Facebook and you're looking for an inspirational group, I have a group called Postcards of Love where we share all, all things inspirational. So you can join me there. Next week, I have Philip Mountrose. He's a pioneer and innovator in the realm of spiritual growth and healing. And he is a holistic coach, energy healer, and author. And we are going to focus on spiritual kinesiology. So you want to join me for that. <clears throat> All right. I'm super excited to talk to Dr. T today. So a little bit about him. He is the founder of a human engineer and is the originator of the world's foremost remote healing training called TNT or total knowledge technique, as well as the author of 10 online programs designed to transform the most common things that ail humans and animals. Dr. T has transformed the health, wealth, and well-being of thousands of people and animals. Remarkably, he treats them from a remote location. Among the countless approaches to creating health and wealth consciousness out there, Dr. T is truly in a class of his own. 
using focused intention, angels, and quantum physics. He is a human engineer for the divine to create miracles. And he holds a doctor of chiropractic degree, a bachelor of science degree in human biology, and he's a certified clinical hypnotherapist and massage therapist. Dr. T is an inspirational speaker, premier engineer of health and wealth, and an in-demand consultant who leads from his heart and soul. If you want to find out more about him, I highly recommend you go to his website. It's www.ahumanengineer.com. Ahumanengineer.com. Welcome, Dr. T. Hey, Melissa. (laughs) I'm so happy you're here. How you doing? (laughs) I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I've been waiting for this. (laughs) <laughs> I know, I know. So, uh, Dr. T, I don't even know how we connected truthfully. Anyway, I went on one of his calls and he did some work on me because you guys know I share, I'm very open with with my show and what's going on with me. I've been having some stomach and urinary issues. And since he worked on me, it has helped significantly. I'm still getting it. It's not completely gone. It comes in waves and then it goes away, but it's it's really, really helped me. So, Dr. T, why don't you start with your journey and how you got into this line of work? Well, I, uh, I you know, I'm just curious, uh, you know, and, and I'm just curious. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's got, you know, I'm like the cat who's curious. It's got me in a lot of trouble. I think I'm on my eighth life. So uh, I, I won't be around too much longer if I keep this up. Um <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I'm a chiropractor. Uh, uh, you know, I, I thought I was going to be a chiropractor. My father was a chiropractor. My brother's a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. Um, like, and so I thought I was going to be jumping on people and, you know, doing side postures and cracking necks and yada, yada, yada. But God had a different plan for me. And early on, <clears throat> I, um, I I went to the seminar. This um, old boy, he was 90 some odd years old back then, 20 some odd years. I'm sure he's long gone. And I went up to him at, at the first break, and I said, hey, Doc, I have a couple questions for you. And he kind of looks down at his arm, and he says, hold on one second, son. He looks down at his arm and puts a finger down by his thumb and runs his finger all the way up his arm, all the way up to his uh, clavicle. And then he kind of snaps out of this trance, and he says, what was your question? I said, well, what the hell was that? And he says, well, that was uh, Betty. She's in uh, North Carolina. She was having heart murmurs, and I just fixed it for her. And I said, oh, okay. He says, what was your question? I said, oh, don't worry about that. It was nothing. I figured it out. And I turned and I ran out of there like a little boy. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. just like, this is, wow. oh, my God, this guy's nuts. There's no way. Right. It's absolutely, right. You know. right. Yeah, sure. And so about two weeks later, I'm at another big pyokinesiology seminar. And this world-famous guy, and, you know, it's 500 people. And I see one guy sitting in the corner. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, my God, this this is just, I just can't believe this, you know. So I went over there, curiosity. I was like, hey, excuse me, are you working on somebody somewhere else? He says, yeah. I said, okay. He said, I said, mm-hmm. How does, what, what goes on? You know, what, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. He says, I'm just imagining it. And I was like, okay, all right, I'll see you later. It, well, when I started chiropractic school, I had a massage certificate so I could work on people. So I was already working mm-hmm. on people while I was in school. And one of the guys I was working with, um, we got rid of a lot of his stuff. I had a lot of advanced muscle techniques, a lot of physical mm. stuff I was doing, some hypnosis, some, you know, some intentional-based things. And, and, and this guy comes in, and he's gray as a ghost. I'm like, hey, man, what's going on? He says, well, mom's in the hospital in Dallas. And as mm. soon as I leave here, I'm going to the airport. I'm going to fly back, and they don't know if she's going to make it through the night. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, it's Came out of the blue. She's just, you know, had COPD for many years and blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. I said, well, there's this little thing, uh, this little thing, supposedly, if I just imagine I'm doing this, uh, you know, right. give it a try. <laughs> 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 wow. I mean, that's literally what it was. She, <laughs> she got up and walked out of the hospital at 3 o'clock in the morning. She wow. pulled all of her, she's a feisty old thing. She pulled all of her tubes out. I mean, she was in an intensive care unit, completely plugged in, getting ready for a quadruple bypass surgery in the morning. She's a funny woman, very funny. She yanked her hoses out, pulled her tubes out, got up, walked outside out in front of the hospital, flagged down a taxi cab and took it home 3 o'clock in the morning. And um, oh, um, then she came, out, she came out to Los Angeles. Uh, I, I treated her a few times. Uh, we, we, she, she, she lived another 15 years. So she got to see him get married, have her, her first and only grandson, grandchild. 
Mm-hmm. And she lived a long time, but she just wouldn't quit smoking. <laughs> hey, you know what? If she's at that age, you know, whatever. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you know yeah, what I exactly. mean? Like, once well, you get I'm to not, a certain you know, point. I'm, you, know, you know, I'm not yeah. really good at telling people what to do. I'm just not good at being like, you better not do that, you know, as, right. I, as I sneak a cigarette in, you know. I'm right. <laughs> you know. Well, or, do you think that you were... Um, like divinely guided because in your work now that I've gotten to know you 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 say this work comes from the angels and you work with angels so how did that like kind of play into it well what happened was I had a woman come into the office and she uh, wanted to bring both her sons in to see me she brought one in he he was the jerk she called him the jerk and then she had a saint mm-hmm. for a son so we worked mm-hmm. on the jerk he left and we really helped him and then the saint was supposed to come in and she showed up, and she was alone. I said, hey, uh, where's the saint? She said, well, <clears throat> he came to me uh, early this morning and, and let me know that he was dead. I said, what? She says, yeah, he, he, he came to, into my mind this early morning and told me that, sorry, Mom, I'm not coming home today. I'm dead. And he got killed on his way home uh, from oh work. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, an ambulance ran a red light, sideswiped him, and killed him. He was oh, 18 wow. years old, if I remember right. Oh, he was a young boy. Terrible. Yeah. And so she, uh, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And she says, yeah, well, he's still with me. And I said, oh, that's amazing. And she says, um, she says yeah, he's just telling me right now that you don't believe me. I said, oh, well, shoot, I, I believe you. I've just never met anyone before who could talk to a dead person, you know, or her, right. her dead son. Right. And, she, and she says, you know, he tells me the only way you're going to believe me is if I tell you you have a shotgun buried underneath uh, wrapped up in a camouflage jacket, buried underneath a bunch of boxes in your basement. <laughs> oh wow! She said that. To so me. she's she that. telling you that he knows this about you, so yes. that like t- to get you to believe that. All right, this yes. is real. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 wow. nobody knew. But he picked the one thing that no that one no knew one. about. Only me. My girlfriend didn't want that gun in the house, and I mm. lied to her and snuck it wow. in there because it was a, you know, my, my shotgun and and so uh yeah i was just like okay what does he want me to know you know and yeah. he, she just started telling me my whole life story and mm. she, it, it, all the times angels were around that saved my ass you know you curious son of a gun you shouldn't have been on that rooftop that night and i mean right. you know, she she yeah. just spewed all this stuff it brought me to that house i was in in los angeles um, it's a, you know, it's a long story I won't get into, but how I got this place and how mm-hmm. the energy healing there was amazing. We had 40 acres behind the house that wasn't owned by us. And there's all these things in the middle of 30 million people, all these reasons why they brought me supposedly to that house. And they're fine. They're, they're, he was just like, yeah, they're here right now. All you have to do is call them in just ask them to ask them for help. You know, she packed up her bag and split and I never saw her again. She disappeared. She went by. Last I heard was she had gone back to Israel. She was a really amazing woman. She did some really amazing psychic work for the synagogues around Los Angeles. And anyhow, so they they lay all this out on me, and I'm just sitting there going, "What the hell am I supposed to do with this?" And I right. didn't do anything with it. I continued sure. studying different modalities. I was just kind of like, I mean, it was always just kind of in the back of my mind, like, "Wow, the angels are out there, huh? Wow." Mm-hmm. And finally, uh, I don't know, 10 years, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine years later, a client who has been with me for a long time uh, mm-hmm. brought in this old manu text, this old book, and it talked about angels in there and how, you know, with the right, with the right stuff, uh, they're mm-hmm. they're here to help us. And she said, and, and you know, I'm reading this book at you know whatever. If, 400 an hour then I think I was and, uh, and I'm like you sure you want me to read this book you know, you know it's your time and she's yeah I want you to read that so I finished reading it and she says mm-hmm. now do what they're talking about there because they had this mm-hmm. little paragraph about this is how you do it and I said well I can't do it like that I'll do it my way and so I did it and mm-hmm. oh my god it was kind of like kind of like you a couple weeks mm-hmm. ago all her mm-hmm. burning she had burning from her nose throat all the way down entire gastrointestinal mm-hmm. tract all the way out to the to the bottom end her anus burning 24/7 oh. yeah oh my god and it oh just god. disappeared in 10 seconds so that's what started that was about mm, 10 years or so ago now 8 9 years 
And mm. <clears throat> it took me six months to believe it. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, sure. every day I'm running out of the office, what? You aren't going to believe this. Yeah, Finally, sure. my wife turned around and said, would you shut up and just get in there and do it? Because <laughs> it's real. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sick and tired of hearing you, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's and, true, though. It's true. When well, when the certain thing was, opens up and we're not used to it, we don't know. Are we imagining it? Are we making it up? Yeah. So it does take a while for you to process it. I get well, that. Well, that, that's, that, that's why this class that mm-hmm. I'm teaching, mm-hmm. you know, here in the, in the March mm-hmm. is, is all about, it's all about as soon as you come in, I have you do it. I teach you how to do this so that you see it right away. In the first hour, we have a miracle with somebody who's mm-hmm. never done any healing. I do it on purpose with somebody who's mm-hmm. never, you know, I had a, oh, she was a dog walker do it last time. And she treated this woman's knee, had been bad for 20 years. And, and this was probably hour three. I'm going to do it in the first hour of this next time. I've just been rearranging how I'm going to teach it. But as, mm-hmm. it was about three hours in. I said, okay, uh, uh, where's that woman with the bad knee? And she was on the far side of the room. And I said, I said, okay, uh, uh, to the dog walker, let's, let's have you do what I just showed you. And she did it. And I said, would you mm-hmm. get up and recheck your knee for us? And she gets up and she kind of walks around dazed and confused. And, and I said, well, she says, it's gone. And everyone simultaneously says the same thing at every class. Everyone says, really? Right. <laughs> no one right. Goes, you can't believe it. You just You're really like, sure. Right. I'm like, yeah. yes. Uh, could you mm-hmm. jump up and down on that knee for me? And yeah, I mean, well, just like you, you know, just like with, with the tree mm-hmm. we, we did with you. I'm like, poke around, get in there, right. stab yourself. Yeah. And let's make sure this is gone because uh, this stuff is instantaneous. And seeing is believing. And when you see it a couple of times and you start mm-hmm. to believe it, that starts to swell into faith. And when you have that faith, you are able to replicate this right away. By the end of the first day, you are fully able to do this work that I'm doing. Oh, my God. All right. Wait, before you go on, let's take our uh first break here because I want to talk more about that. I want to delve into that. Okay. Okay, So, guys, stay tuned, and we'll just be back in just a couple minutes with Dr. T. Okay, stay tuned. Hi. I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. Welcome back. So if you're just joining me, I have Dr. T on, and he's the founder of A Human Engineer and the originator of the world's foremost remote healing training called TNT Total Knowledge Technique. And right before the break, we were talking about um, how anybody can do the work that you do, Dr. T. So um, yeah, since we started, let's talk about this course that you're offering and and what it is that we can do. Because you say that you're not special. We all can do it. We just need to learn how to do it. Well, yeah, I'm, not, I'm extra special. <laughs> how did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, you forgot. I, yeah, I'm not special. I'm extra special. I, I want the super large with everything. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a fascinating, it's, this is, mm-hmm. you know, I never imagined that I would be doing this, Melissa. I never, I just assumed I was going to be doing what I do right, and, right. and never really be able to pass this on. And then things started happening. And that's what happens with these angels. They start giving you these little peekaboos. Mm-hmm. And many years ago when I was in my um, hypnosis training, uh, the woman had this old tape of these old boys in Georgia. And, and they, you know, there wasn't English they were speaking. I mean, they, those old boys were way deep so, you know, they couldn't, you couldn't understand a word they were saying. But these, these old cats, this was like from the 60s, I think. These old boys were 
doing nonverbal hypnosis. Nonverbal. I mean, I thought hypnosis was you're getting sleepy and, you know, you're resting. Right, right. And so they show, she showed me this tape, and she's like, so what, what's going on here? What do you think's happening here? And I'm like, well, you know, it's obviously they're you know, using their minds to tell a story, and so what is that? Well, that's intention. And, mm-hmm. so, uh, and so I started studying all these different intentional-based techniques, and they all mm-hmm. work really well. They're very powerful. Um, but then I came across a means of literally putting that um, knowledge into you. Mm-hmm. So there's a very specific energy that's come out of our hands, and okay. you know, that's why everyone loves to be touched, and we love okay. all this stuff. But it's a very specific energy, and I was shown there's one that comes out that opens up a certain part of the cranium. It's, it's a certain, mm-hmm. you know, this is not neurology. This stuff is unknown, <laughs> but it's mm-hmm. real. And so in a nutshell, I'm able to, take, I'm able to open that up, it's a very, a very simple move I do, and I'm mm-hmm. able to plug that in, and you have that access immediately. It's mm. almost, I, I like to compare it to a Spock mind meld. <laughs> wow. Anybody who's seen uh, Star Trek, when Spock would yeah. be like, you know, talking to the rock and some of these weird things, it's kind of like, I mean, I hate this, I mean, it's kind of like that. And mm-hmm. I've tried to do it remotely, but, I, but so far uh, I, I'm unable to do that. I've tried it on a number of different people. People mm-hmm. are really open people. I'm like, hey, here's this knowledge. Mm-hmm. Just try to have them figure out how to access these angels. And I really think that this thing that I was shown um, mm-hmm. is, is real because as soon as we do it, you're ha- you are able to replicate it immediately in the class. We've had everything from dog walkers to uh, mm-hmm. bank executives to uh, – Oh God! Act. We've had the whole, and we've had a number of doctors, osteopaths, chiropractors, mm-hmm. massage therapists. We've had all walks of life come to the class, and they all have the same response. They all are having success. It's absolutely heartwarming. Mm-hmm. I just spoke to one this morning, and he's just like, "My God, I don't know what to say. It's changed, changed my life." You know, he's wow. able to do stuff he'd never imagined. He had a niece covered in eczema. He fixed all of that in a week. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. Melissa, what, how many times did we treat you? Uh, twice. Twice. Twice, yeah. We spent uh-huh. about how uh-huh. much time on, uh, between the two sessions, how much time did we spend? Oh, God, 15 minutes? Because uh-huh. the first time was you and I alone when we were yep. talking about you being on my show. And then the second yep. time was five minutes on your call. So yeah, 15 I, I, I minutes? Hope everyone, I hope everyone heard that. Maybe 15 mm-hmm. minutes. Mm-hmm. You were in yeah. a horrible yeah, the, place. Yeah, horrible. We were, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who wants to have, uh, you were having headaches, you were having a urinary tract. I mean, anytime mm-hmm. you have urinary tract stuff, mm-hmm. it's a freaking nightmare. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, you, yeah, you, you don't wish that on your enemies. You just, it's, it's that bad. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it is it's bad. terrifying. And so, um, you know, that's the thing with this. You, you know, a lot of times people are like, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. You, what do you mean, angel? how can you prove, prove to me it's angels? Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, well, first of all, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm too mm-hmm. old. To, I'm too old to give a shit anymore. Um, right. But you tell me what the hell it is. How the hell can we fix all that? You've been taking everything, seeing everybody, doing everything possible to help yourself. Mm-hmm. And none of it, you got no relief. I mean, you, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of damage uh, has been caused by all the stuff you were doing. And mm-hmm. and so I don't maybe it isn't angels I don't know, um, but it is I know it is mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that's what our intention is and when I teach a dog walker how mm-hmm. to do this and she's now able to fix all the dogs she's walking she had one that they were getting ready to put down oh. and uh, she did a five minute you know she's like no it was like two minutes three minutes treatment on it it's still alive it's a month later and she's like and you won't believe this dog Tony it's t- you know, it's jumping all over the place. It's doing stuff it hasn't mm-hmm. done in years. And I hear this sort of thing all the time with animals. I've seen it a thousand. I have a million. We could talk hours on the results. It's fascinating. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. anybody can do this. Anybody. We had a 14-year-old kid come through the class. Mm-hmm. And this was probably the, I mean, this was, this was warmed my heart so much. Her, his mom pulled me aside in the, in the hallway. And, and he's, uh, you know, he's been able to do whatever he wants, surf, play tennis. Um, he's just had a really great life. He's just, you know, he's just able to do whatever he wants to do, go hunting, fishing, whatever he wants to do, he's been able to do. And his mom pulled me aside in the, in the hallway on a break. She said, you aren't going to believe this. He came to me and said, Mom, of all the stuff I've ever done, this is by far the coolest 
Yeah, it's, Come it on, is from pretty a 14 cool. year old. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is pretty cool. Well, what is this like? What is a remote session like feel like when you're working on somebody so people can kind of grasp? Now, I know that this is true. I believe it. I think that, you know, as we're evolving, you know, we know that we can measure energy, right? We know energy is real. So why wouldn't energy healing be the next step in healing, right? <laughs> It makes total yeah. sense to me. So, what do people experience um, when you? Well, like, well, work, like you, we, uh, like yeah. you, uh, you mm-hmm. disappeared. Remember, we yeah. stayed with it until we had a hundred percent. And I'm sorry, it, it didn't hold entirely, but it, it sounds mm-hmm. like it's, it's holding at seventy, eighty percent better. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, definitely. And, and, you know, the, the thing is, is that with you, you know, you had it for years and years, and so yeah. there's tissue damage, so that's right. still healing. So we, we you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of these things just take a little bit longer to heal up. I feel really confident that, you know, you're going to finish healing up without us doing anything, but we are going to intervene to make sure. But, you know, this really isn't energy healing. This mm-hmm. really, because energy healing, I you know, I've seen all of it. Reiki, mm-hmm. oh, there's other Japanese stuff I've studied, a lot of different quantum healing, all these mm-hmm. things. None of them are doing this. Mm-hmm. None of them are doing this. No, none, none of them are doing this. We're seeing so this is taking it. This is taking it another deeper. Even this a deeper is using okay. this is using angels and knowledge. The knowledge is, um, mm-hmm. for example, that the idea of these pathogens, how they've gotten out of control in our bodies, and yeah. what happens with the angels is the angels are matching frequencies. So mm. this all comes from Royal Rife's work back in the twenties. I teach you all this stuff over these three days. It's fast. You, you just kind of sit there with your glazed look in your eyes. Oh, that's like, all that it is? It's only a three-day course? That's all that it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's three, fast. That's, that's, that's fast, fast then. Fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. It's power-packed, you, and, and people don't want to take a break. People can't wait to get back in. I mean, you can go see the testimonials. I think people oh. pretty much explain it, how, how you know, how it's, it's absolutely amazing what I've uh, been able to put together. and. It has, you know, a lot of it has been shown to me. I mean, right. I, uh, I'm, I'm curious as hell. I'm like, I remember one day I was like, hey, you know, I, you know, the person needed help, and I didn't do this certain thing with my hands. I just kind of mm-hmm. thought about it and sent you, you know, to help. And why, why didn't it work? You know, I'm just sitting there. I mean, I remember this like yesterday. I'm sitting on the beach going, why, why the hell didn't it work? I, you know, because I got an email back saying, hey, I'm still dying here. Can you help me? It didn't right. work, you know. Right. And and they just showed me that what I've been doing with my hands, how it activates a certain part of your nervous system to give mm-hmm. you more access to them. And so, you know, it's this sort of thing that, you know, it's like, well, it sounds like you're psychic than others, and I'm really not. It just, mm-hmm. I'm just open, and I pay attention to those little mm-hmm. thoughts, and I'm a good observer. So these yeah. little things that come through, I grab a hold of them. And go, I wonder if this works or not. You know, if you yeah. come from a place of curiosity, if you don't know, you know, that's half the problem with doctors, you know. It's like, you know, they've already been trained, so they think they know mm-hmm. everything, and they, and they don't. If you come from a space of like, shit, I don't know, let's just test to see what's going mm-hmm. on, you have a lot better results. So sometimes mm. I'm finding people who have no training are actually better at this than, than the doctors. Then people have training, yeah, because they have a bias, yeah. right? They yeah. have more of a bias. So you talk yeah. about pathogens. What, what do you mean by pathogens, and what are they do, and how is it um, affecting our health? Well, we, we, are, we know we're a micro, uh, bio, a micro uh, bio organism. We know that we, mm. our guts are full of bacteria and mm-hmm. different stuff. Well, what they're f- starting to discover is that we have this stuff all the time. Parasites, mm-hmm. mycoplasms, molds, fungi, yeasts, mm-hmm. um, you know, bacteria, nanobacteria. The, one of the craziest things that we have that, that no one talks about. Doctors, you know, unfortunately, doctors don't even know this. I mean, I had two years mm-hmm. of microbiology. We spent one minute on it, and that is cell wall deficient forms. You can look it up. Cell wall deficient mm-hmm. forms. Unbelievable. They've been, there's a woman out there who... Uh, who uh, really looked at these closely and documented them and mm-hmm. put them into a giant book, and there's thousands that she found, thousands. And weird stuff, you know, here's a fungi, here, here's a bacterium inside a fungi that's inside mm-hmm. a cancer cell. Um, she would go out okay. and she would uh, pull uh, liquid out of, a, say, a chicken that's limping. She would take the liquid out of its knee, inject it into mm-hmm. the neck of another chicken, and then that mm-hmm. chicken would start limping with a giant knee in about two weeks. Mm-hmm. So she started to, she's discovered all these things that if they don't have a normal cell wall, it's harder right. for your immune system to recognize them and, and go after them. Okay. So that's where the angels come in. That's what, okay. This is what I found on you. That's why, mm. 
What'd you say? Mm-hmm. Hundreds of times you had antibiotics? Oh, my God. I had antibiotics so many times, and so my stomach cells got all screwed up because of taking so yep. many ty- so much Tylenol and Advil to co- compensate with the other pain. And then so, you know, and you even said that there was past life stuff, past life issues you, you, you picked up on that were coming up with me. That's, That's some all of the stuff, stuff we I teach. carried over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah every single yeah. thing that, that I do on these demonstrations, I teach. You know, I te- I, that's, mm-hmm. you teach. I, everyone's like, hey, what do you, how'd you figure that out? I'm, I'm, you know, because we do a mentorship program every month, and, mm-hmm. and I'll get there, all the students on there, and they'll be like, hey, how the hell did you figure that out? I said, well, I, <laughs> I went to our recipe. I, is this past life? Is this mm-hmm. emotion? Is this physical? Is this emotional? And that's where we start. We figure out those four categories. You start there, and you figure out what's priority, and then you just go down those trails. And, mm. um, man, it just works like magic, you know. So when you ask the angels when you're having these pathogens, they, they neutralize them? They, they match the frequency and get rid of them? Like, what is they it exactly? They match the frequency, that... and they explode. Oh, yeah, they okay. explode. That's what happens. They, and so we, we, mm. so we are talking. What we are doing is we are, I mean, this is really what's happening. We are accessing right. consciousness. So right. access, and I teach you that. I teach you an assessment mm-hmm. tool, how to mm-hmm. access consciousness. I don't talk to angels. I use mm-hmm. angels to do the healing. But okay. I access consciousness to find out what the hell is going on. Because mm-hmm. if we truly are all one, if, we truly, right. if, if all this stuff is real, all mm-hmm. this, everything you and I are both doing, if it's real, then we should be able to access it and ask, hey, what the hell is going on here? Why right. is this person so sick? And right. if we have that tool and we figure out along this, this simple recipe I give you, mm. then we bring the angels in and they fix physical stuff. They fix, mm. fix emotional stuff. They fix past life stuff. And they fix these pathogens. They yeah. obliterate them. And it's instantaneous. Mm. I mean, I can't tell. We had uh, in the last show and tell I did, we had a uh, 20-year knee pain, a woman who mm. didn't believe at all in any of this stuff. His kids, her kids had to practically drag her on to the webcast. Wow. And mm-hmm. she's jumping up and down on this knee in 10 minutes. I mean, it took a while. She wow. was really messed up. It probably took yeah. me 10 minutes. I don't know. Um, but, mm-hmm. yeah, these kids, you know, we're doing these show and tells. That's the one that you came on and mm-hmm. that, that we spent a little extra time on you. And so we're mm-hmm. doing uh, – all that stuff is on the website, ahumanengineer.com. But we're mm-hmm. doing one again tomorrow night here. I think it's 6 o'clock uh, uh, Arizona time. And then again Saturday morning at 9 okay. Arizona time. And you just sign up. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. You sign up, you come on. Of course, you hid the whole time, darn you. <laughs> I figured out what happened. It was my camera was was off. It wouldn't. I couldn't get on through Zoom. I couldn't get on. I couldn't get on. And then um, I, I finally figured out what happened. <laughs> so here it is. You know, I couldn't even see you. And we yeah, still you had couldn't this see me. Result. No, yeah. uh-uh, you couldn't see me. No, you had me moving and walking. And, and I still do the, when my stomach starts to, the acid, I do what you taught me to do about the padding myself all the way around. And yep. I notice that it really makes it go away very quickly. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, so, hey, yeah. Are, 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 are we, do we take another break now? We're going to take a break in just two minutes. So, okay, when so, when we we come, do... so when we come back, we'll dive in and we will yeah. go after you again. We'll look at you really quick and then we'll okay. make sure we go after everybody. I can kind of, I, as I, I'm kind of tapping into everyone and there's, yeah. you know, there's a lot of little few things out there that, that people are having tr- trouble with that I think we'll be able to uh, shift for them. Yeah, absolutely. So for you guys that are listening, we're going to be coming up to a break here in just about a minute. Um, Bring your, I mean, not that you can't, right? Because if you're in pain, it's with you all the time. But bring whatever issue it is to the table and, you know, just be open to, just to just be open to it. Because I do remember um, feeling um, like chills on the back of my, um, on my arms. And that's how I know that I get like a hit, like something is real when I get those hairs standing up and I remember feeling that when you were working on me yeah so, that, that, yeah, that yeah. is our that's arcing and, and so that's happening to me right now like my whole body all the hair stands up. so they're waiting so whoever's out they're, there <laughs> these, these these I'm not joking these angels okay. they light you up people feel different stuff but they're 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 ready and for those who are going to be listening and it's not live are they still receiving benefits from this 
Yes, yeah, because it's okay. intentionally driven. So if they just listen to this and sit back and, re- and relax their mind a little bit, that's one thing the angels like people to have their minds kind of quiet. You know, we are, you know, where our monkey minds jumping around all the place. Okay. Um, I can tell that my results are better if I have people relax a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's take our break here. So guys, okay. stay tuned, and Dr. T is going to do a blast healing on us. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm super excited. Dr. T is going to demonstrate a healing blast. So Dr. T, quick question before you start. Um, Can I energetically bring my cat um, to the table? Like she's not with me physically here. She's at my mother's, but she's got something serious going on with her eye. You you just told me about the cat and we'll just just include her in the work. Uh, uh, You you said she, uh, she has a problem with her eye? Yeah, we don't know if okay. it's a mass. We don't know what it is yet. Maybe a tumor oh, or a mass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pathogen, is it not? It is. Is it turning into a mass? It is. It's a pathogen pretty far down the road. Does she need surgery? Mm. Well, let's see what happens. That's, okay. that's a tough one because uh, sometimes, you know, when the mass, it, when a mass is formed, now we look at a mass and we're like, oh, it's a bunch of bad cells. Well, why are those mm-hmm. bad cells getting together anyhow? Right, right. That's a pathogen. That's what pathogens okay. do. Okay. The cells try okay. to protect the animal. So we'll see what happens, and, and uh, I, have, I have it in mind, and so we'll make okay. sure that uh, she gets the healing she needs. So okay. I kind of just checked everybody, including you, and so I'm just going to mm-hmm. do everybody first, and then we'll take a closer look at you. Um, okay. Are you still having, you're still having some discomfort? Are you having that today? Um, I was having it earlier today, yeah, and I'm having okay. a little sensation Little sensation okay. as we're on the phone, but it was worse okay. Perfect. This so mm-hmm. there's a whole bunch of people on, or I don't know, I don't know how many people mm-hmm. are listening, but there's people on who uh, who um, uh, have been through heartache and heartbreak and some of this mm-hmm. uh, grief and sadness and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of closed hearts here. So I would have everyone just close their eyes for a moment and picture their heart in their mind and fill it full of compassion for themselves. That's that mm-hmm. same empathy, the same empathy you have for your cat, the same mm-hmm. care you have for, uh, you know, your mom or dad or, mm-hmm. you know, the people you love and care about, that same level of warmth and love and tenderness and just being uh, gentle and having mercy and leniency towards yourself. You know, we're so darn hard on ourselves at times. Mm-hmm. We forget that, you know, no one knows what we've been through. And so having that mercy for just a moment really helps open that heart channel for us to um, have a deeper healing here today. It's just being kind-heartedness. And then move that over towards things that uh, you value about yourself, things you treasure, mm-hmm. things you admire. I mean, I look at, you know, I look, I barely know you, but I see what you're, you're doing every day and you don't feel well. Um, mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's, you know, that's not easy to do. And so mm-hmm. I'm grateful that you're out here doing all this great stuff with people. And so these are just things, just really feeling that um, appreciation for yourself and these things that you do without... Uh, anyone looking, we just do them because mm-hmm. that's what we do, and we go through pain and agony sometimes uh, to help people, sometimes more so than ourselves. Right. And I'm going to have everyone breathe in and breathe out. And let's see, are we going uh, more emotion today? We're going to dive right into everyone's circulatory system. So anyone with aches and pains, uh, squeeze your hands, your hands are tender, um, anything. It doesn't matter, any odd stuff, even like even like with you have the urinary tract stuff and mm-hmm. headaches and this sort of thing. We're going to go after all that first. And so uh, these are just angels. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when I talk, I'm just talking to have the mind uh, be occupied. I'm not, there's no mind tricks here. I just talk because the mind, uh, having it occupied is good because these angels come in and they, you know, they, they soothe our distress. Mm-hmm. They remind us of the beauty within and in doing so, uh, releasing us from some of these grips of uh, grief and anger and fear, and the, the immune system can come back online and help heal the body. So there's certainly people out there with headaches and brain fog. So I'm kind of mm-hmm. stuck up here around the head. A lot of aches and pains should be clearing up. And that's, that's the circulatory system for everyone. That should feel better. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the... Um, 
I mean, I don't know what the hell to do. You tell me. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm kind of joking. Um, I have in front of me like a like a like a picture of a human body, and I just let the uh-huh. angels kind of pull me around. They just kind of pull me around, like, hey, let's go here. Yeah, and that's so perfect because I feel like certain people who are actually listening, you know, maybe having issues that I'm not having. So if you feel pulled to just go somewhere, that's please, what we're. Yeah, you know, this is yeah. for yeah, this is for everyone. I am focused mm-hmm. on everyone and. Again, it's just it's just a vibration, you know, and and because I work with them and they're and I know what I'm, you know, I'm I'm practicing my own, you know, stuff that I teach. Mm-hmm. They just come in and they just kind of pull you around, and so we clean out everyone's lymphatic system there. That usually causes stiffness in the body, mm-hmm. and then they pull me right to the liver because when you open the lymphatic system, you want to make sure the liver is working well to get rid of the poisons. And for you, with all the Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Tylenol and all mm-hmm. the antibiotics, that's all in there still. Yeah. The liver is a big sponge. It holds on to these things and slowly releases them as the body can handle it. So we're just going to fix all that. This also corrects, um, usually corrects a lot of anger stuff. Um, mm-hmm. You know, when we're just kind of pissed off and mm-hmm. this kind of changes that vibration as well. So this is an emotional treatment as well. And in doing this right now with this liver on everyone, let's have everyone just close their eyes again and bring to mind what it would feel like to be totally free from the past, Mm. where everybody and everything gets a pass. And you all know what we're talking about. Mom gets a pass, dad gets a pass, Mm -hmm. ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, brothers, sisters, mothers, the people that were, everybody gets a pass because now there we go, we can relax. And this is a different energy to have, get rid of all the stress in everyone. And mm-hmm. this alone usually makes you feel a lot better. But handing out those passes allows these angels to bring you totally into the present moment and free of that past where the mind and uh, the mind and the soul and the spirit and the body can, can get quiet. Yeah. And you can a lot of times you can feel that stress release right through the whole body because that's what just happened right there. Yeah. And yeah, I see. felt it. I felt yeah, it. Yeah, that's said. a powerful everybody one. Gets a pass and everybody yeah, gets everybody a pass. Yeah, everybody gets a pass. I mean, well, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, it's funny. They don't give a shit. You can no, be mad care. at them all you want, yeah, and it doesn't exactly. bother them. They it only care. hurts you. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> so uh, for some reason, I'm getting pulled to uh, the full body again, all the musculature. So there's some okay. people who have aches and pains. Like if you have a bad shoulder, I want mm-hmm. you to rotate it around and, and, and then rotate the good shoulder. If you have a bad wrist, you can bend it back and forth. Uh, bad knee, bend it up and down. Uh, mm-hmm. bend, the, bend the good knee up and down because this goes right through the muscles and into the nerves. So we're going to do, here's the muscle treatment for everyone, and we'll fix these shoulders, these elbows, these wrists, neck. Mm. No, yep, that's we'll, do the whole, we'll do the whole upper body. I know my really. producer has shoulder issues, so this is great for him. So I know he's listening. He should be, <laughs> he should be rotating his arms around and... And as you say that, you distracted me for a second. The angel's are like, ah, past life on him. He's got mm-hmm. something past life. So we all have past life of uh, mm-hmm. vibrations that, that need to be cleared out. So we're going to go there next. So here's some low back for people. Mm-hmm. A lot of low back stuff here. And then we're going to do both knees and ankle. And let's see, past life, thoughts, and events, it's both. So let's scan everybody for this past life stuff. And let's just fix that. You know, I keep feeling tingling in my hands. Yeah. So I have my hands because, open, like yeah, I'm that's receiving. Yeah, the, that's the end, yep. The, a lot of it comes right to the hands. That's the peripheral nervous system. Mm-hmm. It's furthest away from your from your central operating system. So many times you feel hands or feet, people will feel tingling, and that's angels mm-hmm. just coming in again, changing vibrations. So let's just have you take a breath in okay. and breathe out. Now I'm going to narrow down on to you for just a moment here because okay. uh, I really want you to be able to come back on your show and say, I don't believe it. It's completely gone. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and you know you're you're out there doing some great work, and and I love helping. Well, I love helping everybody, but you know some of us are out here doing this stuff, and it's hard mm-hmm. sometimes to find help. Yeah. Um, and this feels a lot better. Mm-hmm. I think I 
taking a couple of supplements, right? Is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have me on my supplements, and I'm taking okay. them just as you yeah, okay. recommended. So mm-hmm. I'm doing these programs uh, that's coming up. It's all on the website. It's a program. I think it starts in a month. And so it's kind of like a healing like we're doing right now. Um, so it's, but it's like, you know, a lot of times, you know, people, it's hard to, it's hard to get into see me. It's hard to pay for me. Mm-hmm. And so these programs are set up so you get four one hour sessions that we do something like this. And, and it's more like the show and tell where I narrow it down, really track mm-hmm. down so that we have time to spend on individual people. So Melissa, I think that's going to be it for you. Uh, I'm just going to mm-hmm. do one more quick blast here on the cat. Just bring okay. your cat to mind, and it doesn't matter what I, because the angels really don't care. But let's see what this does for the little Kiki. Mm. Awesome! I think that's going to, uh, I think that's going to take care of your cat. <laughs> wow! I will be. No, I will let you know for sure. I will be amazed. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Yeah, and, you know, Melissa, we are doing that. Uh, we're doing a, a show and tell tomorrow night at 6 okay. o'clock Arizona time. And then we're doing okay. it again Saturday morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. So if you aren't like 100%, it surely wouldn't hurt. It surely would be benefit to get back on one of these. Okay. And to your to the people listening, this is show yeah. and tell. You know, I'm trying to uh, – we're trying to fill this class up. We're about half full. and. Okay. um it's at the so end of people March. want to do the show and tell, which is not the class. This is this is free. The show correct. and tell is free, correct? Yeah. So yes. how would they do that? So that they they can go to the use. website and they'll see mm-hmm. a link on there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that says show and tell. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know, you, you you go and do these Q and A's and they're so boring and nothing right. gets done. There's nothing is demonstrated. I'm going to get on there, tell you, and then show uh-huh. you. Just okay. like we did with you. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's, it's it's hard to wrap your mind around. But, um, yeah, it's, it's ahumanengineer.com. There should be a link on there for the show and tell. And okay. if someone is like, if someone is called and they're like, hey, I, I just, you know what I really love is the people who, who have always wanted to get into healing but just haven't had time, just can't, mm-hmm. you know, just like, oh, I can't go to school for five, seven years. This skips all that bullshit. <laughs> Save right. yourself seven years of hell because you don't learn anything <laughs> in school. Um, but we're doing uh, we're doing a discount code of five hundred off. It's uh, it's TNT okay. Love, and okay. so that's I don't I, I know that's not on the website. We're we're giving away everything we can, even a house. I mean, it's a mouse's house, but it's still a house. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you go whatever. To the website. Listen, it's <laughs> great. It's great what you're offering. So yeah, that's fantastic. Oh my God! Yeah, there's a couple I definitely things on the website. It. Yeah, there's a couple things on the website that are really worth it. There's a there's a limp mm-hmm. video. You know, you have to sign mm-hmm. up with your email. You know, it's, I have a marketing team. You know how this all yeah, works. Of I have no. All I do is show up. I see my schedule. I do the work. But they're really good. Um, yes, uh, you sign up with your email. Then you just unsubscribe if you don't want to get emails. But this sure. way, you get this. This this limp video is worth uh, thousands of dollars if you ask me, because if you're in stiffness or pain in the morning and you have mm-hmm. to do yoga just to get moving in the day, it's all in your yeah. lymph, and this shows you how to get rid of it. If you feel like you're getting sick, you do what's on the video. It, it ni- knocks it out 90% of the time. And wow. I think there's a free recording on there that I've done. It's called Relax mm-hmm. to Heal. Yeah. And you know, there's a bunch of free stuff. I mean, it's, it's really worth uh, seeing. And uh, I, I, I love to have anybody who's, just, who's like, God, I really would like to get into healing. You're going you're gonna to jump past everybody. Because mm. this is stuff science isn't even looking at, doesn't even know about. You know, lifelong depression, it's a pathogen from mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. Mm. Um, there's, right. you know, we're teaching stuff that, you know, it's 25 years of clinical experience packed into, a, you know, into three days. And, and the manual itself is it's just a, you know, it's, a, it's just a, we call it the roadmap, but it really is a recipe. And so mm. you just follow the recipe and you have tremendous results. Mm. And when is the class? Is it live? And then you can go back and listen to the recordings. How's the class work? The class is in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, again, I just can't. I can't get this transfer, this knowledge remotely. I keep trying. So okay, so Prescott, the class Arizona, that you're talking about is for lo- for people to come in live and to do it. Correct. Live. It's live, okay. and okay. we work on each other. We work on strangers. Okay. You. By the time you leave, all I want you doing is walking out and being like, I can't believe it. I can do this. You know, mm-hmm. so so many times you do seminars, you have to go back, you have to get sure. videos. No, this is, uh, you know, all that stuff. I'm really not very smart. I've taken all this stuff and made it really simple because this is what what I teach you is what I do in the office every day. You know, wow. I, think I, I think I treated 10 people this morning. I think we had two or three miracles. Um, you know, there's stuff that we're treating that just, 
you know, voices in the head, schizophrenia, depression, mm-hmm. lifelong depression, spinal wow. stenosis. You, you tell a doctor you have spinal stenosis, they don't even want to talk to you. Wow. They're terrified of you. They're, they're, they're... Well, hopefully what will happen is is the more this happens and the angels will be like, all right, we're ready for it. They're ready to give it to us remotely, and it will eventually open up that way. But that's, that's what I'm right hoping. Now... That's, I, I am hoping for that. You know, yeah. It is kind of fun having seeing people live, though, you know, and, and sure. seeing it right in front of you. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting, you know. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's great, but you still can work. People can still work with you though remotely, so Absolutely. they can still work with you remotely. So just because you can't be in Arizona necessarily yeah. to take this course doesn't mean that you can't have access to Dr. T. Correct. And yeah, so you, and, and the, these, yeah. these programs are the best way. I mean, it took, mm-hmm. I, I don't even know what it is. It's a few months to get in to see me live and uh, or you know one on one. And I'm all over the place. I'm in Prescott. I'm in L.A. I'm in Nicaragua half the year. So. Um, you know, this class focuses on remote healing, period. I mean, that's what we focus mm-hmm. on. That's what you learn right out of the bat. And then we get on the body. So I do show you advanced stuff on the body so that if you're seeing someone live, you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, Dr. T, I mean, it's been such a pleasure, and I'd love to have you back on anytime you want. Um, we can do this again, but you guys, really, you just, you do. He's so energetic. you got to check him out at his website, ahumanengineer.com, and sign up for that little freebie and check it out. Get some healing done. All right, guys, thank you for listening to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, Creating the Life You Crave, and I'm wishing everyone a wonderful week filled with joy, abundance, and love. Peace.